there's been a really common problem that's been coming up with my students and I want to fix it and I want to fix it for you today. The problem is balance within your fills. Now when it comes to playing fills, we all want to play fast, we all want to play chopsy things, but if it's not balanced, it's not going to sound very good. It doesn't matter if it's fast or slow, simple or super complex, if the balance of sound isn't right, it's not going to sound great. So what do I mean by balance of sound? Well, I mean the accents being loud, the soft notes being soft and precise, and the kick drums being in there at the same level as your accents. Now the problem itself, as in not being balanced, can come in two ways. Firstly, you can just stretch that dynamic contrast, 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 contrast too much, and you end up with super low, super high accents and super soft ghosts like this. It's like you're trying to break your drums with every stroke. Don't do that. Love your drums. Now the problem can manifest in another way where the accents and ghost notes kind of smoosh together and nothing's loud enough, nothing's soft enough, and it sounds like this. So everything's either just loud or... And it's just not a good time. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the accents and the kick drums are the same volume and the ghost notes are super soft about that far away from the head. To do that, I created this one exercise, which is awesome. We're gonna take a six stroke roll, which is right, left, left, right, right, left. Play it on the snare drum, sounds like this. But then we're gonna take those accents and put them on the first tom. Then we're gonna add two kicks. At the end of that phrase to give us right, left, left, right, right, left, kick, kick. Sounds like this. That's it, that's the exercise. Let me play it at 60 beats a minute to show you what it sounds like. A sweet smidge faster, a squeeze faster. I'm gonna keep a quarter on the left foot. Now the exercise itself is not those notes. It's the adjustments you make as you're working on those eight notes going around and round. So you're gonna be thinking, are those accents identical to each other? Do they hit in the same place? Do they have the same volume? Do they have the same tone? Are my kicks in line with the volume of those? And are my ghost notes happening slap bang in the center, none of this sidey, sidey ghost note nonsense? And are they super soft and am I relaxed when I'm playing it? Because we've got this mo movement involved, you've got to hit up here, come down here, start here, go up there. You've got to make sure that you're moving fluidly to get you playing fast, but also keeping that balance. As you come down, you don't want to hit it too loud. So let me do that again at the same tempo, but I'll show you how it could be wrong and how you can make adjustments. Remember, practice happens in the adjustment from where you are to where you want to be. That's how you practice, that's what you're aiming to improve. It's not going to be a switch or one magic exercise that fixes all your problems. It's going to be minor baby steps to a minor major. Minor baby steps going forward and forward and forward. Now this exercise could be a quite cool fill, so let me try it at like 100 beats a minute to show you what it sounds like. And now, faster for fun. So that's the exercise, that's the idea that we're trying to fix. Go practice it, work on it, let me know how you get on in the comments below. But until next time guys, I will see you in the practice room. Take care.